Okay, YouTube, what's going on? Rebus Dipper here. I haven't made a video in a very long time. I apologize for that. I've just been uh, really busy. Um, hunting, trapping, got a girlfriend, that kind of stuff. Bird. What I'm reviewing today is a little skull wintergreen, a long cut. Later on, I'll be reviewing Copenhagen XLC Natural. This can is cracked about halfway through because I was thinking about cracking it, taking a dip out of it, and then starting the video, but I figured I'll crack it on, finish cracking it on camera. The smell, it's a... Yeah, it's, it's wintergreen, but it's not a good wintergreen. It's kind of a... It's a plain... Not sweet, but it's not dark like grizzly. It's not, doesn't smell sweet. It kind of has a weird smell. By the way, packing it on its side like that is much more efficient. Packs a lot tighter. Missing a pinch. The most school does it. Pinches really nicely. The big old chunk, I'm not going to take that much. I just take little pinches for reviews because I'm going to be talking a lot. I don't like packing huge fatties for reviews. Is that pretty good? Can design. You know, I love school cans. I love their, uh, how much do they probably go into them? Because they really work on them. Hasn't even juiced up quite yet. A little dry, actually. It's a little dry. A little on the dry side. Packs nicely. Pinches nicely. Oh, there's a... So far, there's a little bit of a burn to it. A little bit of a tingle. Nothing too much, though. It's kind of just a bland, plain old wintergreen. There's... Not a whole lot to it. Skull Original Fine Coat Wintergreen has more wintergreen flavor than that, but not. It doesn't have the sweetness of Copenhagen, but it doesn't have the strong, uh, um, like sharp wintergreen taste like Grizzly or Kodiak. It does have that weird artificial, getting a little weight, I know, I'm getting fat. It does have a little bit of a artificially smell. That smell kind of weird. I just don't like Skull Wintergreen. Side of the can. Hey, are you a smokeless tobacco company? That yeah, stuff's dry. When dip gives you really stringy spit, that's when it's a dry dip. <laughs> like that. That's when you know it's a really dry dip. Copenhagen Natural. I'm gonna be reviewing that one next. I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow. Oh, uh, sorry I do not have a mud jug today. I have one in my house that I showed you the blue fire, and I have a plain blue one that was inside of my truck. Well, school too has been going on, Christmas is coming up. Uh, I want you to help me make a decision on a bow. <coughs> is you're actually going to bother commenting about this. Um, a Ross Crave. DRT or a Matthews Monster Chiller for 2014. That's a two, uh, Matthews Monster Chiller is a 2014 bow. The Ross Crave DRT is a, I think, 2013 bow, 2012. Uh, 
Which one of those do you think I should get? Which one do you think is a better bow? Has been since December 16th, 17th, I think. Yeah, it's December 17th. It's it, well today it finally warmed up. It's been like 20 degrees normally, but it kind of warmed up a little bit today. It got up to 30s. I've been deer hunting a lot. I have three tags for second season because I have two farm tags that I didn't use first season. Because farm tags are good for first and second season, and I have uh, statewide unisex tag for second season. So I need to get three deer by this Sunday. Um, and I have an archery tag for second for a second archery season that I didn't use. So I need to fill that one too. I got a, I need I can get a lot of deer. This time. I'm gonna get a lot of deer hopefully here soon. Oh, it's getting dark quicker now. It's five o'clock. It's already getting a little dark outside. I'm sorry I haven't made a video in such a long time. I've been just busy, busy, busy. But yeah, review on the school wintergreen or long cut. Brady did a review on Skullberry. I'm not going to review that. Hell, I'll review it right now for you. Negative five. I hate that stuff. I hate it. It's disgusting. Uh, well, Skull Wintergreen. Long cut. Skull Wintergreen, just like classic old Wintergreen. Oh. I don't know what I should give this. I don't hate it, but I don't like it. Not quite to the point of hating it like Skullberry. It's just distasteful to me. It doesn't have a sweet wintergreen taste like Copenhagen does. It doesn't have a strong grizzly taste. Doesn't have a strong uh, sharp taste like uh, grizzly does. It's kind of just a really mild, mild wintergreen. A hint of sweetness, but a hint of that grizzly taste in there. Or that sharpness. It's kind of... I don't know. It's hard to explain. <laughs> it's a mix between both, really. The cut's really nice, though. I don't even... Let's, it's not packed. I'll just go in there and grab a pinch. Yeah, it packed nicely. Not quite like stokers, but still decent. I'm trying to get a hold of some stokers here next time we go. On a dip run. So school wintergreen. Oh, I'll give it a. Hmm. I don't know. I'll give it a six and a half. Six and a half out of ten. Uh, you know. Yeah, I could dip it for a while, but I don't think I'd like it very much. I don't like it very much. So, 6.5 out of 10. I think that's going to be my final review on School Wintergreen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, make a comment about what bow I should get. Um, I already know what kind of sights I'm getting. I'm getting a Trophy Ridge React site, and I'm getting a Trophy Ridge Stabilizer with a follow away rest. Probably going to get a ripcord follow away rest. I know all that stuff. It's just the bow. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I should be making more videos here soon. I'm gonna review that Copenhagen Natural XLC here any day. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon.